Hey Libra, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a tarot and oracle reading for you guys. Pull some oracle first. Um, past, present, and future. And then advice. Um, actions and advice for you. Whoa. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, so in the past you got loyal heart. Present, all that glitters. Future, truth be told. And actions and advice is not for you. But we're going to pull some more oracle for each of these things. And I'm going to read it as we go. Okay. So this one will go like this. Don't mind me. Just trying to get everything in order so that way I can read it nicely. Don't mind all the noise, okay? I live on like a busy street. I feel like both of those needed to come out. Okay. Two, three. <laughs> okay. I definitely see in your current situation you are walking away towards something, towards a new beginning. Okay. All right. So your current situation, no, in the past, you have loyal heart and don't let your pride get in the way. All right. <clears throat> All right, somebody had too much pride and somebody had a really um, loyal heart is what I'm feeling. Um, so, in your past, you have the Ten of Wands. I feel like you were doing a lot of work, okay? I feel like it was like, I feel like it's an ending, but I do feel like you had a lot of stuff on your shoulders, taking on a lot of things that weren't really, like, meant to be taken on, okay? I feel like too much. I feel like whatever the situation was, it had you feeling like in balance with the justice card. I feel like you, and then you are in your own reading, but it's just telling me that, you know, things were not balanced and, you know, things were um, kind of against you. The Six of Swords tells me in the past, in the recent past, that you've kind of mentally disconnected yourself from this person, detaching yourself from them because it was a little bit of a choppy situation. This could be family, work, friends, relationships, it doesn't matter, bosses, co-workers, whatever the situation is. It's like now you finally realize, like, you know, you want a new start. So this is like your dream being recognized. You finally realize, okay, you know what? This isn't what I want. I want something different. So in the current situation, you have the Eight of Cups. And nothing will come out of this situation. And then you have all that glitter. So I feel like in the middle, and I mean, in this current situation, hold on one second. I feel like in the current situation or whatever you're going through, is like nothing is going to come out of this situation. And I see that you see this, right? Because you're walking away from this with the Eight of Cups. You got the Eight, eight of Cups, the Fool, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so you're walking away emotionally, mentally. You're disconnecting from this person's situation because you're trying to go for the gold. You, you notice that wherever you're staying, in the situation is not working out for you. And it's like you're ready to move on towards a new start, okay? The Ace of Wands, new passions, new love. Maybe you met somebody new that you like really into. Um, I had to sneeze. Okay. <laughs> But I do feel like you're about to embark on this new journey, whatever this is. I feel like you don't even know what you're doing, but you're like ready to move on. Both, both cards are just leaving everything behind and just starting something brand new, not knowing what's to come. It's just like you want a new start. It could be that you have your eye on somebody or you're already interested in somebody else already. But the Ace of Wands just tells me it's a new start in love, a new start in passion. So it could be just you starting to love yourself or you starting to love the life that you have now. All right, because you're walking away from all of this stuff that nothing is going to come out of, okay? Truth be told, I feel like in the future, with it's time to release negativity, I think you're finally realizing whatever is negative in your life is the thing that you're cutting off for the future. And it's you're finally realizing this, okay? You're finally realizing it was holding you back. There was no communication, okay? It was like always like, you know... Being at a crossroads, like wanting to be there because you love the person, but wanting to go, or a situation or whatever, wanting to go because it was too hard for you. I feel like it was not enough communication there, okay? Um, but the future tells me that, you know, there is forward movement. There is a decision that you have to make in the future. Um, I don't know if this is regarding this situation or something else, but this is also going to be another emotional decision that you're going to have to make in the future, okay? This could also just be that you finally made up your mind here, and then in the future you're finally going to leave, okay? But whatever, like I said, take what resonates for you, leave what doesn't. The star tells me there's a lot of healing required in this situation. Lots of balance, you know what I mean? Um needed okay alignment i feel like your alignment was a little bit out of whack because it's the stuff that you were dealing with okay 
And it's like, yeah, you're feeling trapped in your own thoughts, trapped in anxiety, anxiety, depression, okay, stuff like that. The person you're dealing with, your soulmate, okay, this person could be your soulmate, okay, but it doesn't mean they're going to last forever, okay? The person that you're dealing with, judgment, they could be very judgmental, somebody who just, like, very, like, strict and, like, to have, like, a million roles. So whatever the person that you're dealing with is very, like, bossy on um, the death card. <laughs> Okay, you may feel like this person is just like, <clears throat> and then you may be married to this person, but, you know, you feel like they've changed, all right? So I feel like, you know, I went from, like, happiness and lovers to, like, oh, my God, you know what I mean? Things have changed, and now it's kind of leaving you, like, um, not so happy, wanting to leave, okay? Ten of Pentacles keeps on popping up, too, so you have long-term stability coming. Yeah, I feel like this was a marriage, so maybe you were married to this person, if not married to this person in this situation, you were very committed, okay? And also, this is, might be saying that, you know, um, you needed to go to somebody for some type of guidance dealing with them because maybe they caused a lot of stress or whatever. Um, actions and advice, not for you, okay? So if you're questioning yourself, like, am I making the right decision? If Should I leave? Should I stay? You know, the thing keeps on saying there's nothing going to come out of this situation. It says it's not for you. So the universe wants you to get that. Um, and know that, you know, your, your thoughts and the emperor fell out too. So maybe you're dealing with an Aries or could be having your mind on an Aries. And if not, it's just saying, get your power back. But I feel like with the fiery climax approaches, this is Aries too. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I don't know if Aries is significant for you guys, but, um, a fiery climax of approaches and, um, this is actions and advice, Nine of pentacles. Worry about yourself. Focus on you. Focus on your stability. Do what you got to do. You know what I mean? All your hard work is already started. You know, will be paying off. I mean, Four of Pentacles says invest in things. Invest in stuff. Um, Do things that you got to do for you. You know what I mean? And also learn how to let go. Like, when you let go and you leave somebody, don't just leave them. Leave everything else in the past, too. All the past hurt, all the past stress, the worries, anxieties, depression, all the stuff that came with that. Leave it in the past, all right? Then you have the Three of Cups, all right? Happiness. And then you have two sixes, so sixes may be significant for you too, but you have the six of cups and the six of wands. This tells me, like, victory. Um, this is going to, you know, it's telling you to focus on happy memories, okay? Happy memories, find the happiness in your life. This can also be saying that somebody from the past is going to be coming back, okay? And the six of wands just tells you that, you know, just know and believe in yourself that you're going to be successful and you are going to be able to move forward past this situation. You're not going to be held back forever, okay? So if you feel like, you know, it's never going to change, it is going to change, but I feel like you have a decision to make. It's not going to be an easy one. But when you do, you know, you're going to be so much better. And then I don't know if this person from the past is going to be somebody that you want, but could be. Okay, so I have um, four cards that fell out. It's um, Sam, Sarah... Oracle. Um, I have to read them. It says, live in space. The time has come to make changes to your living space. This may be an omen to move locations, clean up clutter, change housemates, or set new ground rules for equal effort towards tasks and chores, revisit ways to improve lighting, and a sense of sanctuary, cleanse stagnant energies. Then you have a shaman. You are invited to embark on a shamanic journey. Nature and the spirit world are working through you to improve to impart miracles, healing, and messages of hope to others. Pay close attention to your dreams, signs, visions, and synchronicities. Meditate and discipline your sensitivities. Be discerning, discipline your skills. All right, and I feel like that goes with the Hierophant too. Queen of Air. This is you, our air sign. This represents a fem feminine energy who could be an astro astrological air sign or have dominant air signs in their native chart. I swear to God, I could read better than this. A queen of air displays traits of intellect, deep thinking, leadership, innovative ideas, analysis, and communication. Writing, speaking, and problem solving are important. She is an achiever and pioneer. So don't give up. Tranquility. Tranquility. It's time to go within and seek peace. Remove yourself from any situation or environment that takes away your peace of mind. Build a sanctuary. Involve yourself with healthy habits and people. Like attracts like. Vibrate higher. Work with your dreams. Brainstorm with ideas of how to make the best of your situation. All right. So that's what I got for you guys. Um, if you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Yep. Yeah, thank you guys. Um, I wish you guys the best. Thank you. Bye.